Good day, crew. Uh, my name is Luke from Aquatic Rehab, and uh, welcome to the lockdown tapes. In this one, this is a pretty quick video. Um, I'm just going over some um, external hard drive footage and um, yeah, just releasing some spearfishing stuff just to keep everyone from going insane. I come across this um, stone snap uh, footage from the end of a dive uh, that I had with my mate Wayne, who lost his leg in a work accident. I think we went out like quite far offshore and we had some really dirty green water and just like a really hard day. I think after about a half day we decided to can it. We moved in coastal to have a look for a snapper and I cannot really remember how this one played out. Uh, we've got a spot there that um, can work really well for snapper on a certain tide, but it's not a given. It's kind of like sometimes even a whole season it can be difficult to pull a fish out. I think we sort of had a bit of a last ditch effort and um, did a ground bait. Whatever we did that day it worked because um, this must have been one of the last dives and I just remember seeing this um, that sort of white shape of the white um, under here and um, yeah the, the pecs and the, and the bottom of the tail there sort of out in the green and um, yeah that's when I ended up sort of sitting there and going alright this fish is, um, is out there is he going to move in and uh, sure enough did. Now, when I say stoning, that's technically not, stoning would be just a little bit further forward here towards the brain. He was pretty stuffed, um, obviously couldn't swim, but um, uh, still looking around a bit with one eye, so still gave him that, that mercy icky. Just remember if you do spine fish, you have to still icky them, um, they're not dead. I had a few comments about the flopper not passing all the way through this fish. Now. This is very typical. If you're sparing uh, um, a big snapper, there's, the bone through here is just so dense. You know, I've had shot them with some pretty powerful guns. The same thing, it just gets lodged in there and it cooks them. Um, they can't do much, but very rarely do you get a full pass through. But all in all, pretty good fish. Good care straight away. Pulled the guts out straight away on ice and then, uh, yeah, back home and filleted it up. Can't remember how I cooked it. Wish I had more of the cooking footage. Um, that's something um, we've got a lot more of um, in, in a lot of our sort of more recent filming uh, because it's the main attraction to going out and harvesting your own food. If you guys want to see me make more of these videos, please like and subscribe. Um, gives me more motivation to sort of sit behind the camera and um, in front of the uh, editing gear as well. Stay tuned for more of these kind of videos. I'm going to be putting up um, a few of these ones from the vaults and the lockdown tapes. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.